So good morning and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, my name's Gemma and I'm losing weight following a calorie control diet and I'm using the NutriCheck app to do that and to monitor the calories that I have. Um, I have trusted NutriCheck with working out my calories and I've got it set to two pound a week for this week and I've set Saturday as an easy day, which I had yesterday um, and today is just a normal day. So I have 1,000 330 calories which I'll pop up on screen now and um, I'll show you everything that I eat for that. I've already had breakfast and I'm just cooking a Sunday dinner now. I've got the chicken in the oven. I've just prepared all the vegetables and put them in my steamer. I'm just going to peel the spuds for the mash now and prep my Yorkshire puddings. So I will show you everything that I eat today. So this is breakfast this morning. I've got 50 grams of Kellogg's Corn Flakes. I'm going to have 200 mils of semi skin milk and four teaspoons of candrel, and it's gonna be 288 calories. So this is my Morrison shop for this week, and there were a few substitutions that I've actually turned down because they were triple price of what I'd selected. So I'm not paying triple price when there's a, a mini Tesco down road. So I'm gonna pop down there for some like pop. The chalk ices I'd got as well, and there's some other things, but yeah, anyway. So this cost me about £100. There's a few bread products on the side as well that wouldn't fit on here. So I'll go through what I've got and the calories. These are the overspill things. I've got some pom bears. Get these quite often because they're really low in calories. They're 65 calories. The Morrison's bread, which you get two of these. Well, you did have two of these for your healthy be on Slimming World as well. But it just makes really nice toast. So I tend to get this one a lot. And it is 79 calories per slice got these which we have with salmon they are delicious 126 calories some scotch pancakes for the kids they're 88 calories per pancake some bread for the kids 93 calories and i'll just move back over We've got some coconut oil toilet roll two lots of mary pipers got an extra taste of chicken the calories for this are on the new check app however i just use chicken because i don't eat any of the skin or anything so i just i just calorize as chicken um, salmon fillets, got two lots of those, a savoy cabbage, cauliflower, two broccolis, some oven baked walkers, they are 109 calories each, some um, mouthwash, some lanore, picnics, they are 182 calories, the microwave rice are 185 calories for half of the pack, they're for Alex and Stephen, we're doing McCurry this week, some cheese slices, they're 100 calories a slice some light and free yogurts they're 55 calories a pot some sprouts tender stem broccoli some little potatoes some of the vivera shawarma kebab which is vegan friendly and it's actually really delicious and i'm not one for meat substitutes but i do really like this one and for 100 grams it's 160 calories and it's only 175 grams in there so not bad at all Aero caramels, 143 calories. Got some um, some apple juice at back there, some cheese. Herbal Essence says these are what Steve's mum's ordered. Um, the beans and sausages are 247 calories, and the spag ball, 168 calories. This was substitution. I'd gone for the lower calorie one, I think, but 100 grams is 84 calories. It's not bad actually for a curry got these mini naans to go with it 127 calories each got some freddos 95 calories chicken breast obviously dependent on the weight got another mushroom stroganoff sauce um it does come up on the app but per 100 grams per serving 121 it's, it's better to work it out off app because <laughs> it works it out for the powder Plum tomatoes, some toffee crisp biscuits there, 99 calories. Breakaways, 97 calories. Peanut butter chunky Kit Kats, 178 calories. Some Twix is 99 calories per stick. I think I did them into 95 calories. The larger Kinders, 119 calories. We'll go down here. Some Barney Bears, 99 calories. Some pasta and sauce for the kids, half a pack, 212 calories. I'm not sure if that's including the milk or I would imagine it's how, how it's prepared. Aero peppermints, 145 calories. Some fridge raiders, they're 40, 
three calories per pack. Cheese strings, they are 61 calories a pack. Some turkey per slice, 24 calories. Some chicken satay skewers, 46 calories for two. Some fruits, they are for two tubes, 67 calories. Lots of mushrooms, milk, cheese and tomato pasta bake, 435 calories for the full pack, which is not bad. Mac and cheese, 474 calories for the full pack. Some Morrison's versions of Magnums. Salted caramel ones, 249 calories. They're plain ones, 238 calories. I've got some large fish cakes for 209 calories. And then let me go around back for this. So we've got some pizzas for the kids. 417 calories and some microchips for the kids. 158 calories. Oh, the microchips are just only while I'm at work. So if I do my toasty, I'll do my box of microchips. So yeah, that's everything that I got for about £100. I'm going to pop it all away now and start prepping dinner because we're going to have that chicken today. And while I'm peeling everything, I'm just catching up on YouTube. So I've got the lovely Us 2 on. So I'm just listening to um, their chat this week. I don't think they've got to weigh in yet. I think we're talking cakes. <laughs> <laughs> which absolutely looks stunning and I absolutely love black it's my favorite color so I would love a black cake so it looks very scrummy so yes I'm watching those I've got my little my little thingy for all my rubbish the steamers jam-packed with veg I've wrote down the weights of all the veg as I put it in there so I can input that in NutriCheck and then I'm just gonna Chop up all the potatoes now, work out all uh, my weights for my mashed potatoes and do my Yorkshire puddings. So that's the Yorkshire pudding mix all made up. I will pop the ingredients for this and the calories on the screen. I'm going to pop this in the fridge now till it's ready to cook. This is dinner for 465 calories. So dinner was scrummy, but I did end up having another Yorkshire pudding and some chicken. So I will pop the revised calories on screen. Um, I can't remember what it were, but I'll um, pop it up on screen. And I'm just nipping down to Tesco's now before it closes. I mean, it's 20 to two now because um, yeah, Morrison's had some stuff missing. So I'm gonna nip down, get the stuff that I need and then I'm going to try and get the steps up to 10,000, then chill out for the rest of the day. So these are the bits that I've just picked up from Tesco. We've got some Diet Coke, which is one calorie per can, I believe. Um, some Choc Ices, they are 115 calories. I actually went with some bagel things, but they were on offer anyway, so 38p. Bargain, so they go in freezer anyway, so I'm just going to separate them. Pop them in freezer, and I just pop them in um, toaster from Frozen. <clears throat> Giant crumpets, never had these before. I'm not a crumpet fan. They're just too, yeah, I just don't like texture of them. But they're 179 each and they're actually massive. So I don't think that's bad. So Steve or our Kaylee will probably have them, but they were 25p. So I'm going to separate them and put them in the freezer. Um, some baby wipes, some chicken and vegetable pies. I'm trying to cut down on red meat. And I thought I'd have these in the freezer just in case. And they're only at 265 calories per pie. They are small pies, but for a bit of pastry, I, I don't think you can go wrong for that many calories. Just got some um, little mini apple juices, 69 calories there for Alex and Kayla. Some larger ones for 84 calories. I've got these. I used to have these on Slimming World. I can't remember what the sins were, but they were quite low. And they're 117. I do prefer... I think they're called caramel or toffee ones, but they didn't have them in. 
but I have I'm gonna have one of these for my dessert now and then I've just got a couple of um, a deodorant and a couple of bottles of pop which three calories per 250 mils um, made up so I'm gonna pop all this away and have my dessert snack time for 116 calories I've got the lovely Joanne Morgan on who just got back a holiday so catching up on her vlog see how she's done I don't know how much she's gained she, I mean she might have lost but I can remember one year I went to Tenerife and I put it were either 10 or 11 pounds on and I think it were only a week I'd gone for so it's easy, so easy to put on um, so yes I'm gonna enjoy this treat and then I am it's what half two now and then I'm gonna it's raining outside so I've got to decide what to do but I'm definitely getting my steps up to 10,000 before I sit and relax Window. I've just sat off walking, try and get my 10,000 steps done. I'm just calling around with Gemma, who I did the um, vlog with yesterday. She's going to join me, and she's already done two workouts already. <laughs> she's a machine. So I'm back in from my walk. It was a very sweaty one. It was nearly four miles, and I did nearly 7,000 steps. So I'm currently on. 14,118, so I've smashed my 10,000 target. I am absolutely dripping. And which means, what is it now? Nearly four o'clock. It means I can sit on my arse and not feel guilty about it. So I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna do some meal planning, and then I'm come down, I'm gonna do tea, do the picnic for tomorrow because we are gonna go to Derbyshire for a walk. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get that sorted. And then I will catch up with you when I eat anything else. So two oatmeal toast and clover light for 196 calories. So this is what I'm having for my final calories. It is 143 calories and I am looking forward to this. And this takes me up to, I think it's 1,309. But I will confirm it. I will pop a screen scroll on, show you exactly what I'm finishing on. Um, step wise, it'll show you anyway. I think that I'm finishing on 15,308. So, really good day. Tomorrow, we're going to be setting off early. Well, I say early for us, 10 o'clock. I'm going to go into Derbyshire. So, I will take you along with us. I've already done the picnic, so I've worked out all the calories for that. I do have some calories just in case we decide to have an ice cream or something. I've planned what I'm having for my breakfast and what I'm having for my tea. So tomorrow should be another good day. And with us going for a walk, should definitely hit my 10,000 calorie step. So really good day. And it's probably the best day I've had in a while on a Sunday. Um, I have been setting it as an easy day. But with easy days, it gives me that freedom to go over as well because I don't seem to be that bothered. So... I'm glad that I only set Saturday as an easy day this week and I feel like I'm going to have a good week. So thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and drop a comment below. And if you've not already subscribed, it would be lovely if you could. So thank you for watching. Bye.